Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day. You guys see I got some packages. A couple taco stack uh, orders here. I think one hat, one t-shirt, and <laughs> still selling those hats that I bought that huge lot. Packages over there. Door right here. Door being closed over there. Welcome back to the channel. Another day. Uh, we are heading out to an auction. It's like another foggy, misty day. Flea market season is kind of winding, or is kind of winding down, but uh, we're still going to go out try to find some treasure. There's a couple things at this auction that I know, like I've passed up for free in other times, but it was more about the amount of work to get it for free was just too much. Some way, kind of maybe buy it and spend money on something that I could have had for free, which it's kind of stupid, but you know, there's some times where you just can't get anything, or you can't get all of it, or you can't you can't get all of it, um, or everything. I'm also trying to hold the camera a new way, which is really weird. Uh, I'm going to try to stop off at a yard sale on the way over there. Try to find something over there. It said in the ad, name your price. So we'll see. All right, let's get into it. All right, so it should... Oh, there you go. I was going to say it should be up here. I think there's a church that's across the street. Oh, Uh, there's a church across the street, which I'm going to try parking at. Because I'm really not trying to, you know, yeah, you know what I'm getting at. Now, this church had a yard sale? Speaking of that, they got all these boxes out here. And these boxes have been here for two weeks. And I was wondering... No. That's all the stuff from the yard sale. I was really hoping... This got a lot of things. They got a whole pile of aluminum cans. I was hoping there was going to be a sign over here that said free. And I don't see one. No, but it's all yard sale like boxes of stuff. So they had a yard sale here. This usually has a rummage sale in that church. I went to... That was the auction that I bought the contents of a basement. There's all the tools and stuff like that. Instead of going to this over here, I went to that. I literally parked over here just to walk over there. Because I don't like parking on the street. You never know what's going to happen. People come flying down this road a million miles per hour. Like so. Let's see if there's any treasure over here. This is, I think, a name your price sale. So we'll see. Could have pulled on this side, but I was on the other side. All right, so I got this corduroy snapback Coca-Cola hat. I've had a bunch of these. Coca-Cola sells. I mean, there's just so much stuff out there, but these hats do sell. Um, I was going to grab those vintage York barbell, not barbell, barbell? Dumbbells. Um, but they were so rusty. They need a lot of work. They were pitted, which meant like the rust was like inside like the iron itself. It wasn't just like you can just rub it off. And I have the stuff to rub off the rust, but when it's pitted like that, it's kind of different. Also, I did a little quick on quick search on eBay. It looked like none of them sold. There were a couple listed up there. None of them sold. Lastly, not everything was make your offer. It was only make your offer for the first table. So that's how they that's how they get you in the door. They say make an offer. That hat was two bucks, which I would spend anywhere between like a dollar to three dollars for that hat. So. I don't know. All right, on to the auction unless we find any more sales. There was a bunch of like cars there, and uh, the other guy asked how much, and she said, I'd like to sell a set for $50. So, prices were all over the board there.
this out of both the legs? No, it does. In the photo, it looked like it didn't. Is it broken on the back side? No. I do like this watering can. It's a little bit different. So these are barrels. These aren't the same ones, but I left them. Who knows if they were broken or intact? I left them when I bought the uh, the shed. There's just no way I was gonna be able to get them out with all the wood that was in it. Big heavy oak doors. Just roof was collapsing. A lot of things going against me that day. Um, these are definitely in better shape than those were, but you know, if they go for the right price, I'll end up buying them. But I don't really need them. I'm gonna take up a lot of real estate. But they are desirable. Where was I? I was just at an auction. Oh yeah, where toys were. Twenty-five bucks for one of those. Like the bench, but we'll see. That looks like it used to have a back on it. Right here, it used to have a back, maybe. Alright, so I got a pile going on up here. Bought a couple content lots back there. I uh, did buy this, so I paid two bucks for the bottles and a dollar for these rogue rats. My goodies are up. Is that all I got? Yeah, it's all I got. guys like Rugrats, you got a whole bunch here. I don't, know, I don't know why I bought them, but for a dollar, I guess I'll buy them. And this is one show that like I remember from a kid. It's got to be like 97, 98, 97. I do remember Rugrats. It was one of those shows I really didn't like, even though everyone else seemed to love it. Uh, bought all these bottles. Got one really cool one here. I'm going to keep this. Bromo Seltzer. Nice cobalt blue. This one has a little bit of embossing as well. Sample bottle. Foley's Kindy Cure out of Chicago. Everything else looks pretty common. This, I think, is a ketchup bottle. But, so I pay two bucks, I'll keep these. If I get five dollars for the rest, three bucks for the rest, I'll be happy. This is kind of a neat bottle as well. Looks like it was dug up. Still waiting on the, uh, the furniture and the other primitives to go. Seven and a half, seven and a half, anywhere seven and a half. Seven and a half, not ten. Not twelve and a half. Twelve and a half, twelve and a half. Sold ten dollars, number forty-one. Ten dollars, number forty-one. Anybody else? All right. So I end up grabbing a bunch of stuff here at the end. This I paid a whopping two dollars for. It's in really good shape. The rocket plane. I figured now would be a time I would sell this. So I guess now would be a great time to buy it. Usually I wouldn't buy these individually I bought all this stuff over here oh yeah those are neat uh, and paid like two dollars for all these wrenches and I paid dollar for these tools a dollar for these tools or two dollars for these tools got some grease guns some shears and then I also end up grabbing this bench and this other bench so I paid two bucks for this it's a school bench only issue is it's kind of needs well needs some new screwing it's gorgeous Did you buy that? 
Yeah. I love the color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish it was, cool. It's a nice color. So I grabbed that, and then I grabbed this cast iron sink down here for 250. You don't see them that often. So for 250, and then $2 for the pink one, and then $2 for the school one. All right, what a fun day it's been. Uh, so we stopped off at that yard sale this morning. I did end up buying just that one hat. This bench seemed to have fallen over. Uh, that's a really cool, it's like a school bench. I think it did come out of a school. I can't remember what school it came out of. But as you see, it does need some more uh, some work done. So this is supposed to, well, I can't do it with one hand. Anyway, it flips up. These, you see that they move, so you can fold it up, fold it down. Um, but it does need work, as you see. I don't know what kind of work. It looks like you also need some screws. I would say I'm going to just rig it together and just put the screws in and then try to figure out the rest and let someone else figure out that. But I know when I said that last time on YouTube, all the furniture experts came out and said, don't do that, don't do this. So I'm going to just say ahead and uh, I'm going to just leave it like this. And I'm not going to leave it like this. I'm going to put it up and probably lay it down and say, hey, look, you're going to have to figure out how to fit it, whatever, and just leave it like that. And someone else can work on it because I'm not going to rig it together for someone else and then... You know, let's say they fold it down and then the screw pops out. Just let them figure it out. I got it for a great deal. If I don't sell it, I'm not really worried over $2. Uh, you know, kind of just is what it is. Got this awesome cast iron sink. This is a trend as well as all the other stuff like galvanize. And so this is the back piece to it. People love to put these in their gardens for flowers. I don't really ever come across them that often. Uh, it's not something that's really like a hot commodity, but it's something that would definitely sell. Sort of in demand. I don't see... Um... Well, I'll tell you what. You know what's weird about this? Apparently this is a sink and there's no drain hole. So what am I missing here? How can you be a sink with no drain hole or drain plug or anything? That is wild to me, so I don't know what you'd even do with that. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe it's not a sink. Nice bench here. It had a pink footrest, which I don't even believe matches this. I think that's in pine. This might be in pine, but that's like a completely different kind of style. It's one of those things. I think this would sell better if it's just by itself. So I'm going to just bring it by itself. If you bring that along, I think you throw a lot of people for a loop. So I'm going to just end up probably leaving that footrest. Or maybe I'll just take that and like say it's a bench or maybe I'll paint it. I don't know we always got projects going on i know uh a lot of things are going on right now i have to run back inside i have to sit down edit a video if you guys are ever curious like why some days i'll post a video at like 3 30 it's because stuff like this happens right now i think it's 3 45 um and i'm just getting back so i have to sit down i have to publish the video that you might have got yesterday if you guys kind of catch my drift, that's why usually I try to post about 12.30. It all depends on what I'm doing that day. Uh, so if you ever wonder about that, so I do have to edit this video, sit down. It'll be a long night. It, it's just going to be a long night. But overall, it was another fun day. Uh, I did grab a couple other boxes. I think I showed a little bit of it. I also grabbed a box of uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels. We have some Hot Wheel cars or Rug Rat toys back there. This fell over. Got a bunch of tools, but I grabbed this whole grease spoons. Throw that over there. Grab this whole box of Hot Wheel cars. Young Taco would have been his heyday. Uh, probably going to keep that for myself. It kind of looks like my own John Deere lawnmower. You're kind of missing the mower deck and every other attachment that probably goes on this. So I'll probably have a wagon of some sort. That's where you put your wheel weights, or not your wheel weights, your weights. And a whole bunch of cars. Some of them are Hot Wheels. Some are just said made in China. This is 1988 Hot Wheels. This one is a K-Line. Who knows? Uh, overall, very, very fun day yet again. Grab some cool things. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you guys want to see where this stuff ends up, as well as where, uh, where I come across more of these kind of auctions or whatever it might be. Subscribe down below. There will be more adventures posted in the future. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time for the next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.